Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. For today's workout, I'm using dumbbells. However, all of the exercises can also be performed with body weight only. So it's really easy to adjust for your level. Um, exercise number one today is a squat and tap. So again, I'm gonna use dumbbells, they're optional. Also, if you are using dumbbells, be sure to choose a weight that suits your current fitness level and your needs and focus on form. So I'm gonna squat down, core pulls in tight, my butt is reaching backwards and then down toward the ground. I'm actually going to tap my hands on the floor first. So if you're not this able to squat your butt down this low, I'll show you from the side, that's okay. You can do it from here wherever you want as long as your back stays straight. So if your back stays straight and you tap and lift from here, perfectly fine. If you can get your butt down a little bit lower, excellent. Okay, here we go. Exercise number one. Now I'm going to go through this um, 10 reps for exercise, and I will have the entire breakdown on my blog, benderfitness.com, with rounds and any extra cardio I do today. So these are the actual workouts I do, guys. Um, here we go. Now that I'm done talking. Power up, squeeze the glutes, tap. That's one. Keep the back straight throughout, four, shoulder blades stay down, shoulders stay down, five, six, push through your heels, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Reach the butt back. Okay, next exercise is weighted crunch tap. So I'm going to use one dumbbell for this one. Core pulls in tight throughout the movement. So pretend you compress your belly button down to the floor. If you're using a dumbbell, hold it above you, arms slightly bent. Knees come up at a 90 degree angle. You're going to slightly crunch lifting your chest toward the ceiling, weight toward your knees, bring it down, keeping shoulder blades lifted, tap the heels. Don't drop the heels, keep that angle. One, two, try and keep the shoulder blades up the whole time, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, we have one leg squat, right and left. So for this one, put both weights in front of you if you're using weights. Um, I'm going to start with my right leg. So I'm going to put my leg right next to my weights or I'm sorry, in between my weights. Here we go. Core pulls in tight, you're on your knee, back straightens as you lift, push up through the heel, that's one. Reach back down, bring that knee to the floor, tap it down, you can lift for a second. That was one. Control the motion, two. Three, push through the heel, feel those glutes working. Four, focus on keeping that back straight. Five, and pushing through the heel. Six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Same thing on the other side. So 
Weights go down, one on either side of your foot. Back stays straight, core pulls tight to support your back. And here we go. One, reach back. Two, lower down. Three, four, five. Try not to use the back leg to push off. Just cheated on that last one. Six. Seven. again goes in between both hands make sure you're holding it securely um, core pulls in tight belly button to the floor make sure you can breathe extend the legs and then reach toward the top top corner of your mat that was one two left and right that's three four Seven, eight, keep the shoulder blades lifted, nine, ten. Okay, next we have curtsy lunge twist. So once again, I'm only going to use one weight. Um, hold it the same way in between both hands, and I'm going to step into a curtsy lunge. So. I'm stepping my left foot toward the right corner of the room. Step back at an angle. And then twist the weight so it goes right next to your glutes. Core is tight, look over that shoulder. Back to center and up. That's half. That's one, so right and left equals one rep. Two, whoop. One and a half, two, three, four, Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. Oh. Lost my balance there. Let's repeat that one. Ten. 
Okay, next we have a Romanian deadlift. So for this one, I'm gonna use two weights and I'm gonna actually split this into halves. So first half is full or just pulsing. So um, weights stay close to your shins, lift, keeping the back straight. Second half is gonna be full up and squeeze the glutes. Here we go. Core stays tight, back stays straight the entire time. No curve in your back. So, small pulls, squeezing the glutes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull, up, squeeze. Butt reaches back every time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next we have bent over row. So I'm gonna have my feet slightly more than hip distance apart. Slight bend, um, butt reaching backward, and then pulling the weights up to my rib cage. So, um, ladies, if if you're a woman, bra strap line. Okay. Here we go. Back stays straight throughout the movement. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Relax the shoulders. Nine. I think I did ten. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, next we have a chest press. So for this one, I'm using my stability ball. Um, you can use a bench if you have one. Or if you need to, you can even lay on the floor. You just won't get um, as large of a range of motion. So if you have a stability ball, lay back, weight can come to your shoulders, and you can either keep it straight or you can bring it in and then turn them so they come up and the ends face each other. Here we go. Core tight, legs can support you. Use those glutes. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, final exercise is an extend and curl. So we're gonna use those arms again. For this one, we're gonna actually go into a chair pose. So feet come together, knees come together, core pulls in tight, squat down, close leg squat. We're gonna curl and then extend the arms backwards. Keep that core working too. Three. Also, don't swing, control the movement, up and down, four, five, six, seven, eight, whew, nine, last one, Ten. Ah. Okay guys, that's one round of my workout today. So check out the breakdown on my blog, benderfitness.com. There are over 375 other free workouts you can do at home. All the workouts I do to get in shape. So I hope to see you there. Have a good night and I'll see you next time with a new workout. Bye guys.